October empties um, video and I'm not gonna make the video too long because um, honestly I can't really even find half the stuff that I was like oh I'm gonna put this in my um favorites video I can't find it so um yeah let's get right into the video let me first say like comment subscribe to my channel hit the bell to be notified every time I post a video follow me on social media Shiley1990 on um Snapchat and Twitter and Shiley1990 makeup on Facebook and Instagram. So let's hop right into the video. First thing I'm presenting you is this um, St. Ives Radiant Skin Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange Exfoliating Body Wash. And um, this is 100%, this is made with 100% natural exfoliant. I had it upside down because it's towards the bottom. Um, so it's not necessarily an empty. Maybe we could put it in the favorites pile. But um, yeah, the exfoliation factor is gentle. And I'm actually going to see what the deep one feels like. Um, it's not pink lemon and mandarin orange, but it's another scent. And I think I'm going to like that. So um, yeah, this smells so good. I love how it makes me smell. Um, I use this in combination with, I just use the Dove... Um, um i use the dove bar soap for sensitive skin with this and another dove product but if you guys want to see um my shower routine or my sleep routine then let me know in the comment section and i'll definitely let you guys see somewhere it's not gonna be like full nudity you're gonna see like the parts you need to see um but um this is paraben free, dermatologist tested, and does not contain animal derived ingredients. So yeah, I love I love how this smells. I'm all about like smelling good. Help coerce that back to the bottom. While we're on beauty products and um, bath products, the beauty products that I'm in love with right now um, is this Dove Body Wash Mousse with Argan Oil and it's um concentrated it's two times the uses per ounce versus our regular body wash so it's and it's also perfect for shaving it looks like this um I'll show you guys it looks just like shaving cream shake it up first then it comes out like that i'm not gonna spray too much because i don't have any use for it but it's like this rich, creamy. It's just like like they took like they made shaving cream and and you can bathe with it. It makes like a lot of lather. It makes like a lot of suds. And I like seeing like I'm a sudsy a sudsy kind of girl. Like um, I love suds. Like I like seeing suds when I wash dishes. I like seeing suds when I'm in the tub and in, in the shower. I like seeing suds because to me suds equals clean. So, and it smells so good. Um, this isn't. Why am I rubbing this in like lotion? This isn't like a. Um, this isn't like a. Um, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was gonna say. So we just gonna move right on to the next um, thing I was gonna say. Slow attention span, sorry guys. The next thing in our empties slash favorites video are these Berkley Jensen uh, makeup remover towelettes. Not to be confused with these Berkley Jensen makeup cleansing, makeup remover cleansing towelettes. Um, this is Advanced Formula Ultra Soft. I really don't know what the difference is between these other than the packaging. But I got both of them from BJ's. This is the ones that I'm on right now. They're relatively cheap as far as like like most things at BJ's. Um, yeah. These are empty. So um, 
I used a lot of these. I gave two to my sister, but it's five comes in a pack for I want to say nine forty nine. The other ones, I think five comes in a pack for seven forty nine. I gotta double check that. But um, yeah, these were very handy, handy dandy. Um, the next thing on the empty side are these two. And um, I didn't even know that this one was empty till just now when I was doing the video. And I was like, oh, well, you finna go to the um, empties column. This is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3 in 1 Primer Water and my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. Um, all the way empty. These are great, affordable. These are $4.49 or $5, depending on where you go. Um, you can find them at Target, Walgreens and also depending on your area. These are very affordable. They last a long time. They smell good, especially the coconut one. Um, and as far as I know, I use this one mostly to set, I mean to prep, but it's a good setting spray also. And they just come in handy. They're good setting sprays. They last long. They last, I mean, it looks like a short amount because it is a short amount but it lasts relatively long. So, um, the next thing on the empty side slash favorites are these, um, that these, let me do one at a time. This La Roche Posay Laboratory Je <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so inappropriate. Lip lippy Care balm intense repair moisturizing cream um pre prebiotic thermal water i don't know um uh, this is just a moisturizer that i got in a sample bag from walgreens because i bought something that was 20 dollars. i bought a 20 dollar beauty purchase so they gave me this um and this for free along with other stuff and a little beauty bag um this is a very intense is the right word to use this is a very intense like you can feel it when you're moisturizing with it like you can feel it moisturizing your pores and opening your pores up and um definitely recommend this i have to find it in the full size version because i will need i will need this this has become a very important part of my beauty regimen and my skincare routine at night now this, I gotta get this and the big one too because I've heard good stuff about the Hydra Boost line from Neutrogena, but I, I see what everybody was talking about now for myself because this is um, a very moisturizer. First off, let me say it's Neutrogena Hydra Boost Body Gel Cream with hy Hyaluronic Acid um, Skin's Advanced Hydrator. And um, this, is just as good as the other one and when you put the two of them together working in tandem it's like like you can't help but feel the moisture and my skin's not necessarily dry it's not oily i feel like i have combination skin i get oily in my t-zone and then my cheeks and the rest of my face are like dry or sensitive but um yeah i definitely would recommend this and this these are very good they smell good um and they're just all around good beauty products okay the next one on the list is this makeup revolution cut crease canvas i could even put this on my holy grail list um this is in halo and she's all the way finished like she's done I maybe, maybe could squeeze like one or two more uses out of her, but she looks like she's done. Like I'm seeing the inside of the tube now. This is like my best friend as far as cut increases. And I was actually recommended this by B. Marie. Um, she does makeup out of Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. And um, this is like one of the best things that you could use to cut your crease for a neutral crease, for a colorful crease. It just, it, it comes in handy. I normally take this out, put some on the back of my hand, and I just like the results. It's like, it doesn't budge, it doesn't crease. It stays all day, maybe even to the next day because I've had fallen asleep and makeup before and wake up and she still be on. She ain't went nowhere. So, um, 
yeah i would definitely recommend this i do have to re-up on this because this is like one of the best things that you could cut your crease with um it's just an all-around good base then the next thing on the list is this um essence lash and brow gel mascara styling comb I don't know why I read it like that, like I didn't know what it was. But it's basically just a clear brow gel. I use this to set my um my eyebrows. I feel like um when I set my eyebrows with this, it just gives me so much more like je ne sais quoi. Like it just takes it to the next level and I just love, love, love using this on my eyebrows. Um definitely one of my favorites of all time this is a good dupe for the anastasia beverly hills gel mascara or brow gel and this is three dollars at ulta so i definitely want to get a bunch of these i want to get like six of these next time i go if they have it last time i went my sister got this for me um and when she went they only had like a few of them which is the case most of the time because it's just that good um and last on the list her favorites slash empties of October um is this I Envy by Kids Iconic Collection Iconic Chic Lashes and number four the, these are what I currently have on right now what I love about I Envy by Kids um lashes in general is that they are reusable so these lashes were $3.99 and I can wear these lashes as long as I take them off every night, peel off any excess glue, rinse them in between my fingers gently um, in some warm, wa warm water. They can last anywhere from a week and a half to two weeks. So that compared to getting like, not knocking anybody's hustle or anybody that's out there selling lashes, no shade, no tea. But that compared to buying lashes that are like $25, $30, for a pair of lashes and sometimes they don't even last very long um depending on who you buy them from because a lot of these people out here selling lashes are selling lashes from aliexpress changing the box that it came in to make it look spotty and they just don't even got the quality of these and these were four dollars but like i said no shade i'm not knocking anybody's hustle I just don't want to be got when I could spend less and get more. You understand? So, um, yeah, I love these lashes. They're not uncomfortable at all. I only had to cut an incy bency corner out of the um, inside, but that's just me. Um, you may not have to cut. It may fit perfect for your eye, but that's with any lash. You have to measure before you actually put the glue on and put it on your eye to see if it's going to be comfortable for you to wear or not but um yeah other than that i don't think i have any more favorites if i do then i'm gonna pretend like i just got them in november and it'll be in the next video so <laughs> um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video like comment subscribe to my channel hit the bell to be notified every time i post a video um follow me on social media shyly1990 on snapchat and twitter shyly1990 makeup on facebook and instagram and i'll see you guys in the next video Oh, <laughs>